Hi, I'm Michael, an application specialist at Cole Palmer, and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do a basic setup on a Cole Palmer touchscreen syringe pump. So first of all, you need your syringe. I've got a 100 microliter syringe, so glass syringe from Hamilton. So I'm just going to install it into the syringe pump. So in it goes like so. Um, the plate the plunger goes into the plate and the plate gets tightened and again I clamp down on my syringe as so. So now that the syringe is installed I need to tell the pump what syringe I've actually put into it. So if I move over to the pump at the moment it says that a Cole Palmer 50 milliliter uh, stainless steel syringe is currently installed so I need to amend that so if I click on this I can look for the Hamilton uh, syringe and touch that there now uh, I can now I need to look for the 100 microliter option so if I click down the 100 microliter option is here and I can select that and press enter now it's just warned me here to say that I've gone from using a, a stainless steel syringe to a glass syringe, so I need to be careful not to overpressurize this, that's fine. So I just click that I've acknowledged that piece of information there. Now, the pump at the moment is set to infuse only, that's fine, I'm only gonna be pushing it this way. Um, now, I can select the flow rate that I want for this pump. So now that I've installed the, uh, the um, syringe into it, it tells me that I have a maximum flow rate that I can achieve with this syringe and a minimum flow rate that I can achieve with this syringe. So I need to, I can't exceed or, or go below those, those ranges. So at the moment, I'm going to select a relatively fast flow rate for the pump. So I'm going to say 100 microliters per minute. It's set to milliliters per minute at the moment. So I need to amend that to microliters and press enter there. So it's set to 100 microliters per minute and I can just agree to that. I can also set the volume I want to dispense. So let me say 10 microliters. Again, I've got to change that unit to microliters and enter there, so 10 microliters. And I can now start running the pump and it's going to move and stop once it's dispensed the 10 microliters. And there we have it. So that's how you set up a syringe pump. Thanks for watching.